Okay, so welcome to what's in my hospital bag for baby. And um, I guess what's in my diaper bag for the hospital. There we go. And we are nursing and breastfeeding and cloth diapering. So I am going to get started. I have this Skip Hop um, Studio diaper bag. It's a black, it's a black one. Um, has polka dots, kind of black polka dots on it. I really liked this. I bought it for about forty dollars. Well, maybe it was more than that, fifty dollars, on Amazon. Um, and I wanted something that had a ton of pockets and that was organized. So I will probably shoot a video. This is like jam packed for the hospital and ready. I'll shoot a video. Um, it's probably several of them after the baby's born and we come home and unload some of those hospital stuff and also just kind of how my everyday diaper bag is packed because we will be cloth diapering which means there's just some extras you need to take. So to get started I bought a, let me undo some of the stuff on top, I bought a um, off of Etsy a universal, we don't know the gender of our baby, and I am 38 weeks and two days pregnant. So, baby number three, and uh, so it can come anytime. I would be fine with that. <laughs> but we didn't know, I wanted a really nice, soft, warm blanket for the car seat. And since we don't know what baby is, it needed to be gender neutral. I bought this really sweet, um, handmade baby blanket off of Etsy. It has crocheted trim on it, minky on the back. And uh, just kind of a really pretty blue um, print to it. So that will be our nice um, car seat blanket. And then kind of a going home. I have a hat for baby's head that will go with outfits. But we brought a boy outfit and we brought a girl outfit. And so since it's November, baby will need something to keep its little melon warm. And then we got this at our baby shower as a gift. And I love this coat. It's a newborn little jacket and um, I cannot wait to put baby in it to come home. So it has little ears on it. Absolutely sweet. And then let's see. Okay. So the inside, we'll do the inside of the bag. It looks just like that. And we'll start with clothes since we're kind of already there. Um, for our boy outfit, I have this, uh, we have a woodland themed nursery. So I saw this in the store. It has a little fox on it. Um, this is so cute. And it came with little tiny itty bitty pants. Oh, my baby clothes are just fun. They're so cute and they're so fun. And it also came with like a little onesie, like a thermal top for it too. So that will be his going home outfit if it is a baby boy. And then for a little girl, we have um, a top. And let's see, yeah, little newborn, there we go, little newborn size top with a bow. And little pink pants that has a puppy on the back. And um, a onesie, nice long sleeved, soft, it says grandma's girl on it came as a set so and then we got this for a shower which is universal I don't know if it's a girl I'm totally gonna put her in this <laughs> I think it's adorable um, but it has a raccoon it's a Carter's little Carter's newborn sleeper it has a raccoon on there and then a raccoon on a tush and um, a raccoon on its toes on each foot so so stinking sweet. I can't wait for this baby to come because I'm excited to go to Carter's and buy up all of this woodland themed animal, all of their whole line because, well, it matches our nursery and it's just cute. <laughs> and then I have some um, Gerber, just zero to three onesies that have um, the mittens that kind of fold over for baby's fingers fingernails when they're first born because they like to scratch their faces and uh, I bought those at a garage sale actually this summer so just a couple of those because I know that the hospital will have shirts and things for the babies so um, 
let's see, that's it for clothes. On the inside, oh, actually, as a girl, I'm going to put a, because these were just cute, and it matches, these headbands match the outfit. So I thought that was cute. Daddy thinks it's going to be a girl. If it is, we'll put it to good use if he's right, and if it's not, they'll go back <laughs> or given to a friend who is having a baby girl. Um, I thought, yeah, all these pockets. See, this is why I love this diaper bag because there's so many outside pockets on it. So, very, very cool. Highly, highly recommend it, and I haven't even used it with a baby yet. Um, but anyway, I brought a few pairs of baby socks. And um, I got these at our shower, our baby shower too, some mitts for baby's fingers so that, again, it won't scratch its face. Um, let's see. And then I brought a baby brush and a baby comb because we have seen, the, the, the techs have seen hair on this baby. So I'm hoping it will come out with a full thick head of hair and actually need it to be brushed. Okay, it might be wishful thinking, but again, I hope so. Um, I brought a big bottle of babies, of um, Burt's Bees Baby Bee Shampoo and Wash. My girls, and I have two girls, this is my third baby, broke out terribly bad in the hospital. Rashes and um, just reacted to the Johnson & Johnson products that they use in the hospital. So I'm bringing more of my own stuff to be used. Um, I have wet ones, antibacterial wipes. I'm not going to be like, I just want people to wash their hands in the hospital. I'm not going to be like crazy and handing these out at the door. But if we need them for surfaces and things like that. And then a small bag of Huggies uh, wipes to wipe whatever down with. Let's see. And then I've got um, some nursing pads. And we are going uh, reusable, washable. These are super soft, made out of bamboo. And... Um, so I have some of these washed up and ready, and I also have cream, nursing cream, that um, this would be the third time getting this with my third baby. My midwife uh, wrote the prescription and I've already picked it up. So we're good to go um, for nursing. And then this other pouch, I have like my mommy stuff, my pads and things that I will need after baby's born, but will be in the diaper bag. Okay, on the outside pouch, I've got um, a little first aid kit. These were so cheap. I picked it up for like a dollar in the um, in the um, travel size section of the store. So it was at Walmart. Target would carry it too. But I actually got a tiny, in addition, I got a tiny little nail clipper for me. Um, because I always want one of these and I never have these on me. And the diaper bag will become my purse once the baby comes. So um, this little like first aid kit has some band-aids, has some um, cleansing wipes, some gauze. So just a few things and lots of room if I want to add things to it too. I can add, you know, some antibacterial wipes or whatever to it. Now, it has been six years so since I've had a baby, so I bought newborn binks because I'm not sure what the hospital will have. I'm not sure if the baby will want to take bink, but I just bought a package just in case, um, it, you know, in case if we need it. And I'd rather have the baby get used to, you know, one kind and then take it home with us instead of switching it around. So on the other, I only brought the other outside pocket one burp cloth and I made these. I just bought just cheap um, Babies R Us, the thicker cloth diapers and I writ dyed them and um, so they're because we're cloth diapering I wanted to be able to tell my burp cloths apart from my r diapers, diaper diapers. So anyway they're like an aqua blue. I brought one of those and then also since my girls um, we're so bad in the hospital with reactions and 
stuff, just super, super sensitive skin. I mean, we, we had to come home from the hospital and put their bums in um, a baking soda bath just to get them to heal. It was, it was terrible. Both of them were terrible. And the chocolate that I was consuming might have had something to do with that, but I don't know. So I made my own cream. This is a diaper rash cream. I'm going to show a video on how to make it because I think it's awesome. I um, It's made out of shea butter. I bought organic raw shea butter and um, raw beeswax pellets and um, organic coconut oil. And I mixed them. I used a recipe. I mixed them and melted them down and then put them in my KitchenAid mixer and whipped all of the ingredients together and poured it into these tiny little uh, mason jars and it solidified so it made kind of a kind of a, it's a balm and it's you know what's in it and it's good for bottoms and um, I used it on a cracked piece of skin behind my five-year-old's ear and after one application it was gone so I'm actually really excited. We are cloth diapering, so I think I'm going to put this on the baby's bottom just as a precaution um, because with the meconium, it is so hard to wipe that off. I guess daddy gets that job when the babies are born because I'm usually in the hospital bed, but, um, but sometimes not. So anyway, we'll put this on and hopefully it will help the meconium wipe right off, but I have a few jars, one for my nursery, um, one for... Uh, the low, the second floor in our house and then one for the diaper bag so anyway I am excited for that to actually use let me see what else I have okay so another thing I like about this diaper bag is it has this snap and um, so I can put things that I need in here like quickly and can just grab it, but it will hold it in there. And so what I've packed is an Aiden and a Nye, I think I'm saying that right, swaddle blanket. Um, just has little owls, this came as a four pack. And so nice big blankets to swaddle in. And since babies like to be swaddled, and it's super soft, super, super soft. And then one of these um, pockets, is going to be my mommy pocket where I had a couple snacks but I ate my snacks so I need to refill my snack pocket <laughs> and then I have a lip gloss so I love this lip gloss I'm excited to have it and then let's see what else I have like a a lower pocket in this bag that will become my keys and my cell phone um, pocket once the baby is here, and this is used as our everyday. I did forget one thing, let me grab it. Okay, I did forget, ah, I'll be out, I forgot my nursing cover, scarf. Oh, I just ran into the table. <laughs> anyway, I found, yeah, I, f I bought this off of Etsy. It's a nursing, cover scarf so infinity scarf so you can wear it as you know an infinity scarf and put it over your head and wear it like that um, or or you can just throw it over you and use it as a cover now that my hair is all messy anyway and use it as a cover for nursing so I'm going to put this in a pocket in my diaper bag and have, just because we're going to have, like I said, visitors. Um, and so I want to be a little discreet. Anyway, so that. Now on to our cloth diapers that we're bringing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, we will be cloth diapering in the hospital. Again, nothing against disposables, but um, for my girls, it just did not work. Their size diapers were huge. <laughs> they like put one, they give you size one diapers on. I mean, they went up to here on the babies. But um, also their bottoms were broke out really, really bad. So, and we're trying to save money, which is why we're cloth diapering with this one. So anyway, I have this wet bag. This is a pail liner for our house, for our nursery. 
but my little wet bags haven't come yet um, that I ordered for our diaper bag. So we're just going to haul this big old wet bag to the hospital with all of our clean stuff in it and then we will um, and then we'll just bring it back home when, when we come home with the baby for the hospital and wash it all. So, okay. So anyway, I have our wipes, our cloth wipes, and I have a solution that I need to make up um, to bring to the hospital with us, but these are super soft. I bought them off of Etsy Bamboo Absorbent Cloth Wipes. And then I brought I brought all of the newborn, all of our newborn diaper stash. Um, these are Green Mountain uh, pre-folds. They're tiny, tiny little baby. And um, I have 24 of them total. And I've washed and prepped them. I've washed them five times and dried, so they are so they should be absorbent. Now we've never cloth diapered, so this baby is going to be a little bit of a learning curve in the hospital. But I brought um, some snappies, or one snappy, which replaces the old pins that you used to use with cloth. And then I have all of our covers. I have a total of ten covers, and I'm using. Um, Thirsties diaper covers and I've pre these two are newborns so they have velcro these little these little covers these aqua covers they also have a little part for the stump for the baby's umbilical cord and I have pre-packed um, all of our you know each um, pre-fold into a cover so that when we're tired and sleep deprived in the hospital we just have to grab one and then wrap the diaper, you know, I'm not sure how we're going to fold it, what will work for a newborn, um, but I've got two of those, and then these are the smalls, which took me a, <laughs> took me some time to learn. So these I snapped down, these actually are not smalls, these are the adjustables, the size ones, but I snapped them down to a newborn, so, or extra small, so these are the same size, but these will grow with baby, these will not. So anyway, I have two of those, and I can't remember how many covers, four, five, six, seven, and then eight of these, so, um, but they're so cute. These little thirsty covers are so cute, and they're snaps, and yeah, I'm excited to put them. I think baby will be really cute in pictures, um, brown, there's a little owl print, as I learn, I will do more cloth diaper videos too. Uh, some more covers. I don't think we'll need as many covers as we will need um, the pre-folds. That's why I brought all of the newborn pre-folds I have. But very, very cute. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten covers, twenty-four pre-folds, and you know, I think that'll get us through the two days that we're in the hospital until we come home and we can wash all of this. Um, and then, yeah, so, and then it's all going to go back in this wet bag, which makes it easy because I just have it next to my diaper bag, and when I go into labor, I'm completely ready. So that's how we intend to do the hospital. Now, it can work out completely off plan, but in my mind, that's how I have it planned. So I hope this benefited you guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And hopefully we'll have a new baby to show you soon. So we'll talk to you next time. Take care.